Welcome to Italy, a country that is known for its rich history, delicious cuisine, and breathtaking scenery. From the historic capital of Rome to the romantic city of Venice, Italy has a wealth of amazing destinations to explore. In this video, we'll take you on a journey to discover the five best cities in Italy to visit. Get ready to immerse yourself in the culture, art, and beauty of these incredible destinations as we showcase everything they have to offer. So sit back, relax, and let's start exploring the best that Italy has to offer. First, Rome, the Eternal City. With its cobblestone streets, ancient ruins, and stunning architecture, Rome is a destination that should be on every traveler's bucket list. One of the most famous landmarks in Rome is the Colosseum, which was once used for gladiatorial contests and other public spectacles. You can almost hear the roar of the crowd and the clash of the swords as you stand in the shadow of the iconic amphitheater. And don't forget to visit the nearby Roman Forum, the center of political and social life in ancient Rome. No trip to Rome is complete without a visit to the Vatican, the smallest country in the world and the spiritual center of the Catholic Church. Marvel at the intricate details of St. Peter's Basilica, which took over 120 years to build, and gaze in awe at Michelangelo's masterpiece, the Sistine Chapel. But Rome isn't just about ancient history and religious landmarks. Indulge in a plate of spaghetti carbonara, or try the crispy, deep-fried artichokes known as carciofi alla giudia. And of course, you can't leave Rome without trying gelato, the creamy and delicious Italian version of ice cream. Next, Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance. Once you step into this city, you'll be swept away by the rich history and artistic heritage that surrounds you. Florence is home to some of the world's most impressive art and architecture, and it's no wonder it's considered the birthplace of the Renaissance. The Uffizi Gallery is a must-visit attraction, with a collection of artwork that will take your breath away. From Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, to Michelangelo's Tontodoni, you'll be surrounded by masterpieces of art. Another landmark in Florence is the Duomo, the city's iconic cathedral. The pink and green marble facade is simply stunning, and the view from the top of the dome is breathtaking. And don't miss the baptistry, with its famous Gates of Paradise, a set of bronze doors that were created by the sculptor Lorenzo Ghiberti in the 15th century. But perhaps one of the most romantic spots in Florence is the Ponte Vecchio, a bridge that spans the Arno River. It's famous for its shops, selling jewelry, art, and souvenirs. And if you're lucky, you might even spot a street performer or two. Next, Venice, the city of romance. Ah, Venice. The city of love, the city of water, the city of bridges. This magical place is like no other, with its winding canals, charming bridges, and stunning architecture. The city has a rich history and culture, and there are plenty of museums and art galleries to explore. And of course, you can't leave Venice without trying some of the local delicacies, like the sweet and crunchy fritelle, a type of Italian donut. But if you are planning to bring that special someone and have a magical date, we recommend to follow these steps. First, start with a gondola ride. Nothing screams romance more than a gondola ride through the city's waterways. Glide past picturesque bridges, hidden alleyways, and stunning architecture while being serenaded by your gondolier. It's the perfect way to kick off your day in Venice. Next, visit the Doggy's Palace. The Doggy's Palace is one of Venice's most iconic landmarks and is a must-visit attraction for any couple. Admire the stunning architecture and learn about the city's rich history as you explore the palace's ornate rooms and halls. Next, explore the San Polo District. Take a romantic stroll through the San Polo District, one of Venice's oldest neighborhoods. Enjoy the picturesque canals, charming bridges, and hidden squares while discovering some of the city's best restaurants and bars. Then, take in the view from St. Mark's Campinelli. Take a short walk to St. Mark's Square and climb the bell tower for a breathtaking view of the city. From the top, you'll be able to see the rooftops of Venice, the Grand Canal, and the stunning architecture that makes this city so unique. Finally, enjoy a romantic dinner. End your day with a romantic dinner for two at one of Venice's best restaurants. Indulge in traditional Venetian cuisine, sip on a glass of Prosecco or Chianti, and soak in the romantic atmosphere of this magical city. 
Venice is a city that exudes romance from every corner and spending a day here with your loved one is an experience that you won't soon forget. So pack your bags, grab your partner's hand, and get ready for the ultimate romantic day in Venice. Next, grab a bite in Naples. This vibrant city located in the south of Italy is famous for its delicious cuisine and rich history. Let's start with the food, shall we? Naples is known for its incredible Neapolitan pizza with its thin, crispy crust and delicious tomato sauce. And don't forget about the buffalo mozzarella, a creamy and flavorful cheese that pairs perfectly with pizza. But that's not all. Naples is also famous for its pasta dishes, seafood and pastries, like the decadent sfogliatella, a shell-shaped pastry filled with ricotta cheese and candy fruit. But Naples is more than just food. It's a city with a rich history and culture. The historic center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site with stunning churches, palaces, and piazzas that date back to the Renaissance and Baroque periods. And if you're a history buff, you can't miss a visit to the nearby ruins of Pompeii, a city that was buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Speaking of Mount Vesuvius, the volcano is just a short distance from Naples, and it's definitely worth a visit. You can hike to the top for stunning views of the Bay of Naples, or take a guided tour of the volcano's crater and surrounding area. And let's not forget about the wine. Naples is located in the Campania region, which is famous for its wine production. Don't miss the opportunity to taste some of the local wines, like the Greco di Tofo or the Red Tarassi. So whether you're a foodie, a history buff, or just looking for a beautiful city to explore, that will leave you feeling satisfied and enlightened Next, Milan, the fashion capital of Italy. The city of style, sophistication, and shopping. If you're looking for high-end fashion and designer boutiques, Milan is the place to be. But don't worry if you're not a fashionista. Milan has plenty of other attractions to offer as well. Let's start with the city's most iconic landmark, the Duomo. This stunning cathedral is the largest in Italy and is famous for its intricate Gothic architecture and beautiful stained glass windows. And if you're feeling brave, you can climb to the top for breathtaking views of the city. But the Duomo is just the beginning. Milan is home to many other world-class museums and art galleries. The Pinacoteca di Brera is a must-visit for art lovers, with its impressive collection of Italian Renaissance masterpieces. And if you're interested in science and technology, don't miss a visit to the Leonardo da Vinci Museum where you can explore the genius mind of one of the most famous inventors. The city is known for its delicious risotto alla milanese, a creamy and flavorful dish made with saffron, as well as its hearty osso buco, a type of slow-cooked veal shank. And of course, you can't leave Milan without trying some of the local gelato, which is some of the best in Italy. Now, if you're visiting Milan with fashion in mind, these are some of the important events to check out. First, Milan Fashion Week. Milan Fashion Week is one of the biggest events in the fashion industry, held twice a year, in February and September. During Milan Fashion Week, the world's top designers showcase their latest collection on the runway, attracting fashion editors, buyers, and celebrities from all over the world. Next, White Milano. White Milano is another major fashion event in Milan, showcasing contemporary fashion and accessories from emerging designers. White Milano takes place twice a year, in February and September, and is known for its innovative and avant-garde designs. Next, Milan Design Week. Milan Design Week is not strictly a fashion event, however, is a must-visit for anyone interested in design and aesthetics. This event takes place in April and features exhibitions, installations, and presentations from the world's top designers and design companies. Next. Fashion Film Festival Milano The Fashion Film Festival Milano is an event held in September that celebrates the intersection of fashion and film. The festival showcases short films, documentaries, and a feature-length films that explore fashion and style, attracting fashion lovers and film buffs alike. Finally, Vogue's Fashion Night Out Vogue's Fashion Night Out, an annual event in September, is a fun and lively night of fashion music, and shopping. Stores in the city center stay open late, offering special discounts and promotions, while fashion shows, performances, and parties take place all around the city. 
No matter what time of year you're visiting Milan, there's always something happening in the world of fashion. So if you're a fashion enthusiast, make sure to check out these events and experience the excitement and glamour of Milan's fashion scene firsthand. And that concludes our tour of the five best cities to visit in Italy in 2023. Whether you're a history buff, a foodie, an art lover, or a fashion enthusiast, Italy has something to offer everyone. So don't wait any longer, start packing your bags, and get ready to explore the beauty and charm of this incredible country. Grazie mille for watching. We'll see you in the next time.